I know many of you have been waiting for the waterproof quads maiden and to actually test out the Racer Star 2306 Fire Edition. These are 2400 KV as well as the $10 Hack RC BL Heli 32 ESCs and that beautiful UFO stackable VTX which was like 12 bucks. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alright guys, so how did this one do? This one actually did spectacular. Um, I, I was afraid to go full blast and go between the trees because I didn't know uh, if my transmitter would actually reach it and I really did not want to fail safe behind the trees and actually go get it in the rain because it was very muddy. Uh, overall it flew absolutely beautiful. I did also fly this one before it rained. These motors are insane they're very 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 good um, however with the cold weather it was around two degrees Celsius so it's very cold on um, Fahrenheit I don't know how cold that is but it's just like two degrees away from freezing so it was just a beast you know and I could totally feel the battery being affected by the cold but good thing I flew this guy on uh, a warm day and I'll have that video later on I'm gonna do a separate video for these motors these are the fire edition overall it worked perfect um, I didn't have that issue where the water was getting on the lens and I couldn't see however I did have the issue of my goggles fogging up and uh, one, one the right one kept fogging up more than the other one for some reason but um, overall it flew phenomenal it was beautiful and I could totally enjoy it in the rain like I did except next time I need to actually just figure out where I would fail safe uh, before I go full blast so I was, I was kind of hesitant to go full blast on it while sitting in the car and trying to uh, fly it and um, I was satisfied I was very very happy with this one um, it was just beautiful um, everything about it was absolutely beautiful the waterproofing obviously worked so far I will be taking it in harsher weather again to retest it but overall our methods seem to work absolutely fine and um, yeah that's just another budget bill this is a hundred seventy dollar quad this one's pretty insane um, the ESC's are very good uh, there was no noise in the video feed which was absolutely beautiful 
However, you know, what I had to do for some reason, I had to drop it down from D-Shot 1200 to 300 because um, there was these weird jitters and um, I, I didn't know what it was. And when I dropped that, and then I also dropped the PID loop frequency, but I think we might need a capacitor or maybe it's a tuning issue. I do have the black box log. I haven't looked into it, but I'll be making an update video about it. But overall, I mean, these motors were absolutely beautiful. Um, I would highly recommend these motors. I was just blown away when I flew it uh, on the warm day. It was just insane. Uh, the VTX, beautiful, no dropouts, and there shouldn't be any dropouts because I'm not flying more than 200, I think uh, 250 meters away from myself. So I didn't find any issues there. Uh, we're using the HLRC F4 Flame, which is the, what I consider one of the best flight controllers, if not the best, because of its uh, inbuilt filtration. And um, it was just a perfect build. It was another $170, another budget build, which was just absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't complain about anything at all. It was just that good. That's it. It just put it down. Uh, had to drop the um, the. Uh, D shot protocol, but other than that, it flew absolutely beautiful. No, no noise, and I don't have a low ESR capacitor, and I don't have a voltage regulator. So we are getting just the filtration from the flight controller itself. So basically, we have another win on our hands, which is another budget budget build win on our hands. However, I would do something slightly different next time. I would highly recommend you get the one like we did on the previous budget build, which is the either the Star F3S or the Star F4S. Those two, I highly recommend. I have been I've had them for a couple months now. They've been absolutely beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have no issues with them. I have no complaints about them, and um, I would strongly and highly recommend them. And I will leave the links to these two boards in the description down below and they will be affiliates links so if you can use the links down below it would be super awesome uh, it would really help the channel and um, after we finalize this one we get it running beautifully perfect um, it's gonna go to a lucky one of you guys so um, yeah I'm hoping to start this trend um, that's it like every month every month at least at least one build to give away and obviously I'm not gonna forget about my patreons they're also gonna have some awesome giveaways also but I'm just speaking about YouTube between one to two hopefully soon we'll be able to do more than two um, what I really want to go for is to actually every build that I make to actually give it away and I do have a lot of flight controls which I'm planning on giving away also so make sure you smash that like button don't forget to like and subscribe and also please hit that notification I do upload regularly and um, yeah you don't want to miss out I have a lot of things coming in and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.